I'm sorry, but there won't be an intro or outro to this video because this is a rather serious topic and I just want to get straight to the point. The law firm Schwartz, Kreiner, and Donaldson Smith filed a class action lawsuit against the Nintendo Switch. So I've actually had this problem for almost an entire year up to this point. But I actually didn't know how common it was until two months ago. I thought that I was one of the only people suffering through this, but it turns out there's a lot of users experiencing what has been dubbed the Joy-Con Drift. For those who aren't aware, the Joy-Con Drift is a defect with the control sticks of the Joy-Con controllers on the Nintendo Switch that causes one of the sticks to move on their own when you let go, or even both of them for that matter. When my Joy-Con started drifting, it was only a minor annoyance, however the problem only got worse and worse as time progressed. At first, the Joy-Cons would only slightly drift to the right, then the drifting got much more significant, and a month ago, it started drifting down as well as right, which makes it so hard to aim properly in Splatoon 2, and put me at a major handicap during the final Splatfest. There were so many occasions where I couldn't aim correctly due to the drifting, and when I couldn't look up because the controller was drifting downwards and was fighting me, but by the time I was able to look up, somebody shot me already, and I couldn't do anything about it because of the drifting. I think this is hilarious, but it turns out the reason why the drifting occurs is because of a small piece of graphite inside of the Joy-Con that is used to insulate power to the stick. Serious? I find this hilarious because graphite is what they use for pencils. And using a conductor is such an easy fix, to the point where it doesn't even make sense why they thought this was a good idea. The reason why they're getting sued for this is because they actually knew about it, but they didn't care and just wanted to get their product out. Which that's always a terrible business decision. I actually think that people would be happy to wait longer in order to ensure the quality of your product. Thus, people will put more trust into your products as well as your company. Simply rushing something out for a release date is always a mistake you will end up regretting. And I'm sure they're regretting it now due to the lawsuit. None of this would have happened if they had fixed the issue. I actually wonder how this issue got past testing, if it's such a common defect. And of course, as it turned out, it did get past testing, and they just didn't care. But the thing about this is that the Nintendo Switch Lite is coming out the end of this year, and when I first looked at the Lite, the first thing that came to my mind was they didn't bother changing the joystick so they're still gonna be drifting however with the standard switch the joy cuts detach from the handheld so you can replace your controllers without having to replace the entire unit but the switch light is all one piece of hardware so if the switch light has drift issues that means the only way you could fix it is taking the whole thing apart and fixing it yourself or shelling out another $200 for a new console. So Nintendo better not screw this up because the way I see it, there will be no turning back from this if they do. But speaking of replacements, Nintendo is offering free Joy-Con repairs as well as refunds, and you will no longer have to specify a proof of purchase. So at least they're doing that. 
Quite personally, if I were them, I would have thrown in a code for a free game of your choice on the Nintendo Wii Shop in order to make up for all of your troubles. But clearly they're not that generous. You could also file a complaint against Nintendo for your drifting defect on the firm's website. But that's all for this video. As soon as I get this uploaded, I'm going to order a replacement so that I could finally aim correctly in Splatoon 2. Victory Screech! <laughs> so with all that in mind, make sure you order your replacements and you sign the complaint. The link will be in the description below and I hope all goes well for you. There were so many occasions where I couldn't aim collect collectly. <laughs> I couldn't aim collectly. I'm putting this in as a blooper. <laughs>